What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing some Age of Sigmar today, and Michael is going to give us the lowdown on the matchup today. My Cities of Sigmar are back on the table. I actually get to play them, not Andrew. And we're doing Lethus today, so we're bringing Ionis into Lethus, which is a pretty cool little combo. And we're doing the Slaves of Darkness. I've just recently painted up all of these chariots. So we have Archeon and like just a thousand chariots, which yep. is very cool. This is a fully mounted army, which is very fun to play. Uh, I got five chariots in here and then some Baron Guard and Archeon to boot. So it should be a really, really fun matchup. If you're new to the channel, please take time to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to hit that 10,000 subscriber mark and we are wildly close. Things are slowing down a little bit before the new edition drops. So if you're still watching, please hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And big love to all of our members. There's a link down below if you want to check that out and try to get some extra battle reports. So with all that being said, it's time to take a look at the lists. We're playing today. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this channel, especially the Lords and Commanders. If you're interested in extra battle reports and helping to support this channel, hit the link in the description box below. Go check out our channel partners, Baron of Dice and Grey Matter Games. They have some amazing products. There will be promo codes and links in the description box below. Slaves to Darkness are hitting the battlefield today, and it's all about the cavalry. This is going to be Knights of the Empty Throne, which means my whole army can run and charge, and it makes a Baron Guard battle line. This is going to be about three drops. Archeon, the Ever Chosen, is going to be my general. He has a bunch of amazing abilities, and he's just a big, meaty god model. He's going to know Binding Damnation, which is a strike last spell, and he can see into the future, so I know who's going next in the next battle round. I have five chariots in the list. They're 80 points, they're just cheap chaff, they're all Mark of Nurgle, they can do some mortals and help me to screen and get battle tactics. Then I have one unit of Nurgle Knights. They're gonna have the eroding icon, which makes them super duper tanky, reducing rend and also being minus one to wound, and they're fast attack. To round out my list, I have two three-man units of Varengard with the Mark of Corn and Fell Spears. They have a four-up mortal wound shrug. When they charge in, they have tons of rend and wound on twos, and they can fight twice. Amazing unit. And there you have it, the Knights of the Empty Throne. Let's see what Michael brought today. Cities of Sigmar are back on the table for the last ride of the Dawnbringer Crusade. And we've decided to bring Lethus today. This turns all of my heroes who aren't wizards into priests, and then they know the spell or a prayer that turns off ward saves. The general today, it's going to be the free guild marshal on Griffin. His command trait is Grizzled Veteran, so you can only war uh, wound him on a four up. His artifact of power is the Sigmarite Warhammer, which is plus one rend and plus one damage on his big weapon. We've taken a ally today, Ionis Cripborn. He's a double priest. So he can pray twice, uh, he's pretty fighty, he can turn off uh, Inspiring Presence, he reduces attacks, and he works in Lethus, which is pretty cool. One little foot hero, the Alchemite Warforger, he does no Blizzard, because like I said, I am a degenerate, but he's also here for his plus one to save aura that he gives out. Haskell Hexbane is hanging out with the Hexbane Hunters. Those Hunters are a cheap little screen that have a five up ward, and Haskell Hexbane uh, can target a monster and do extra damage to it. We have one unit of free guild command cores. I think everyone knows what these guys do at this point. They do a little bit of healing, they give out extra rolls, but they turn off commands. Wilder core hunters, these guys have a fair amount of shooting and it's Ren 2 if they're hanging out near a terrain feature. Pretty, pretty handy. And then we have four units of free guild cavaliers. These guys are really nasty on the charge because they're rent to two damage a piece on all their weapons. That is the list. Let's take a look at the mission we're playing today. Today's battle plan is going to be a Geomantic Pulse. This is a four objective battle and we are deployed on opposite edges of the battlefield. The special rule for this one is starting from the second battle round, the person taking the second turn gets to pick either the far left or the far right objective to be the pulse. The pulse will score you two, and each objective adjacent to the pulse will score you an additional point. Other than that, we're gonna be scoring on battle tactics and grand strategies. My grand strategy today is slaughter of sorcery. I've gotta kill all the wizards. And Michael, what is your grand strategy? Let's see, it's gonna be banners held high. So I have to have more banners and totems than you by the end of the game. Well, I have one banner, so that's doable. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and see who has initiative.
All right, everybody, we are here for battle round one. Just got done taking a look at the armies. Leave a comment down below. Who do you think is going to take this dub? Is it going to be the Cavalier spam or the other Cavalry spam? I didn't spam. I have screens and whatnot. OK, you only have 20 Cavaliers. My bad. Only My bad. 20. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a really interesting matchup. I really like it. I'm excited to run a bunch of chariots for no reason. I was just messaging everybody. Do you have chariots? Do you have chariots? Yeah. Uh, and there's five of them now, so that's a pretty good little collection. Michael has decided to give me the turn. I was four drops and he was four. He won the roll off, so made me defender. I did curse Archeon with Haskell Hexbane. So yep. if Haskell gets in there, you just mess him up. And we did our uh, uh, pregame move with the Wilder Core, so they scooched forward ever so slightly. Anyway, uh, my battle tactic this turn is going to be surround and destroy. One of the reasons that I love taking a bunch of chariots, or in my mind I wanted to take a bunch, is because they help you get battle tactics and they're so cheap. The first thing that we're going to try to cast is a mystic shield. And we're going to put that mystic shield on Archeon the Everchosen himself. Oh, that goes off with a 11. I'm going to leave it at 11. Yeah, you can aggressively have your... Does he have one cast or a two cast wizard? He's a two cast. You can have your mystic shield. He will never die. He doesn't have a war scroll spell, even though he's a two caster. So he's just going to go for an arcane bolt. It fails. I have no pregame moves. I do need to pick a mark for Archeon. He is going to pick the mark of corn because I want to get those extra attacks when he charges. That is it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick movement phase and we'll be right back to show you what I did. Okay, we're back from my turn. We didn't throw out the action cam because my turn was very simple. I moved forward just enough. That guy should be on the objective. He is. Uh, just enough to barely touch that objective. And then this one moved over here. These Varen Guard are within six, so I'm completing Surround and Destroy because our territories are only 11 inches forward. That's under six inches. Excelente. And then I'm just setting up my Counter Strike. Archeon is buffed to the gills, and that's it. A couple screens. So I scored three points because that's the max score you can get in turn one with Geomantic Pulse. You know, I really want to extinguish the Crucible for plus one save, but I think it's more important to get Magical Dominance right now while I'm. I have my one wizard alive and yeah. he's in the backfield. So let's go with a mystic shield from the Warforger. Okay, sounds good. Hiya. Look at that, it goes off. Nailed it. We'll put it on our screen. <laughs> nice. Nicely like done. Battle tactic completed. Let's do a little bit of praying. So Haskell Hexbane is hanging out over there and he's gonna do a universal prayer of bless and he'll throw it on the Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. This so goes off on a three? Yep. Yay. Okay, Cavaliers are gonna have a six up ward. I'll write that down for you. Thank you. That's my only prayer because the other guys are out of range. <laughs> All right, well, beautiful hero phase. Let's go ahead and get into your movement. Movement phase is complete. The Hexbane Hunters have ran off on their own because their job is actually to surround and destroy later. Haskell and these Cavaliers moved more center. And then I just mirrored David. I moved back just a itty bit to make some of his charges more difficult if he wants to try and alpha strike me. Turn two strikes or beta strikes probably. This is not important. And then the Wilder cores have moved onto this point snagging it just outside of nine. And then we're gonna set up for some shooting. We're gonna all out attack with the Wilder Core Hunters. We're gonna start with the little crossbows. So these will be threes and fours, and one, single damage. Okay. I am not doing an all-out defense, folks, because I can't take commands. That chariot's too far away. So three, nice one, rend. Sixes, or maybe fives, one moment. It's a four-up save, so I failed one. So I'll take a damage. One damage. And then we got the heavy crossbow. Twos. And three. Ren two. Fail. D3 damage for three. Cool. Give that bad boy four wounds, please. Got him. Ka ka ka. Smashed his face in. One of the horses died. Oh, not the horses. Uh, turn complete. We'll score it up. Easy turn for the cities of Sigmar. We matched the Slaves to Darkness and scored three points. Both of us are in good spot. Neither of us really want to go next, but we're both fine if we have to go next. That is correct. So let's go ahead and roll off and see what happens for battle round two. Good luck. Good luck to you, Gadsah. 
All right, uh, I'm going to go second because I break ties. So this is going to be the pulse right here. And then uh, we'll get into turn two, Cities of Sigmar. All right, here we are for battle round two. Michael's going to get into it. I have three plus one command points because I did Andorian focus. I tried to generate another command point and failed, and I have one primal dice. I have two command points, a single primal dice for her action. I tried to get a command point and failed. So for my battle tactic this turn, we're just going to surround and destroy. I'm going to extinguish the crucible so I can give a plus one save aura from my uh, war forger. Ionis is going to auto prey and give my uh, command core a six up ward. That is a mighty hero phase with no rolling. We're gonna move. Movement phase is complete. The Hexbane hunters have moved onto this point, securing it. They're looking at eight inch charge on that chariot. The Cavaliers have moved onto the adjacent point. We are gonna attempt to charge on that chariot right there to try and block off some of David's movement. The castle with all of our power is still hanging out in the back. Our wilder core hunters are going to go fight this other chariot on the side. And then these cavaliers have surrounded and destroyed. So we have a little bit of shooting attacks to do right now. Wilder core hunters activating into the chariot. We're just going to do the little crossbows. Okay. Forced to wounds. Two wounds, David. Nice one. I take a damage. Heavy crossbow hitting on threes. Wound on threes. Excellent, Wilder Core. We have three attacks with the volley pistol, threes and threes. Uh, two at minus one rend. I save one fail. Single damage. And then we have one shot with the crossbow launcher. It hits, fails to wound. Hexbane Hunter is going in. Uh, seven is, or six is not good enough. Cavalier is charging in. That's an eight, that should be fine. Wilder Core charging in. Mighty six, also six is good. good. Uh, Wilder Hunters are gonna attack. We have two attacks piece with their hunting weapons, just fours and fours. Five? No rend. He's dead. Okay, we're gonna fight with the chariot. Uh, there's way too many attacks going into him for him to survive, so I'm not even gonna bother with an all-out D. We're just gonna do an all-out attack and see if we can kill a couple of these horses. So we're gonna start with the lashing whip, and we'll go ahead and throw in the trampling hooves at the same time, because they're the same profile. So we've got six attacks, threes and fours. Uh, we will all-out defense. Okay. Everything hits. Make one save. Two up. Saved it. Okay. And then let's do the Chaos Great Blade. This is threes and threes. I'll hit. Two wounds. Minus one. Build one. Okay, that's two damage. So we got us a horse. One horse. Cavaliers swinging back at you. Threes and threes. Ren two, two damage. That's a lot of twos. That's a mighty three at Ren two. Sixes? Uh, I should have been telling you that those are Mark of Nurgle, but it's okay. So I take six damage. Horses. No, they cannot. So easy. You don't have to take Battle Shock. We are good. Let's go score you up. Cities of Sigmar have completed our turn. We scored six points. We hold the pulse adjacent to the pulse and a point. That's, and we completed our battle tactic of surround and destroy. Let's go ahead and do some casting. First thing I'm gonna to try to cast is a mystic shield. That goes off. Aggressive. Uh, and then I'll try the fight last spell. Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, that's a 17. Well, I guess we'll try. So close, 16. <laughs> oh. oh man. What a waste of box cars. Okay, cool. So we're gonna make that unit fight last. For sure. And we're gonna consult the eye of Shirian right now. Ooh, did you say your battle tactic? Yeah, my battle tactic is charged with three units. I didn't say it. 
but I, now I just did. I just have to charge with three units. So yeah, we're going to consult the Eye of Shirian, mm -hmm. and I'm going to roll a dice. On a one through three, you get to go first in the next battle round, and on a four up, I'm going to be going first in the third battle round. So let's see what happens. Five, so that means that uh, I already know I'm going to have a double, so I can kind of prepare for that. Um, that is all of my hero phase stuff. So let's go ahead and get into movement. All right, we're all done with my movement phase. I've got this chariot here that's three inches away for a charge. I moved these horses over uh, to kind of tank that objective and maybe charge in depending on if I need to. Then over here, we moved some Varengard within three inches or just outside of three inches of the Cavaliers. The chariot fell out of combat. Big Daddy is gonna go ahead and charge into them. The other Varengard moved around the corner right there. This chariot's here, and this other chariot is there. So that is my entire army kind of descending on where the pulse is active right now, trying to get some points. And that's it. So let's go ahead and get set up for some charges. All right, let's charge Archeon. Six is good, he'll go in. Charging Varengard. Go 11. Ooh, get all that movement. Oh yeah. Chariot's gonna go in. It's an 11. Ooh, that's, that's what you want. That's good. And spike those mortals. <laughs> okay, Michael, six mortal wounds. <laughs> Five. <laughs> All right. uh, remove the dogs. <laughs> Knights are going to charge. Big charges. All right, next unit of Aaron Guard is going to charge. It's a seven. I'm gonna reroll it. Reroll it. Okay, it's fine. They're just gonna sit. Okay, uh, that chariot that's standing right in front of him, he's gonna charge. <laughs> I got you. Just okay. Mortals on fives. Big spikes from the <laughs> the chariots here. <laughs> They're MVPs, dude. I don't care what happens for the rest of the game. Okay, mortals on fives from this chariot. Five mortal wounds. What about the other chariot? See if you can just finish them off. Yeah, the other chariot wants it. For five inches? You idiot. We'll just roll the mortals now. Two more mortals. He still almost did it, though. Sergeant's alive on a wound. All right, we're going to do one monstrous action. It's just going to be a Stomperino. Stomperino is good. He's dead. Yep. All right, I'm going to fight with the chariot first. This is going to be uh, fours and fours. This is the mounts and the lashing whip. Cool whip. Three saves. Failed one. Take a damage. Okay, and then we're gonna do the great blade, fours, all hit, threes. Uh, two wounds, minus one. Failed them both. Four more damage. I'll take two. Okay. These are going to be threes and threes. Take two at round one. Fail the bolt. Single damage. And then we have three attacks with the great axe. Y'all hit it. Two wounds. Rend two. Okay. Four damage. I'm going to choose not to pile in. I shall choose not to run, and I'll auto-pass morale. OK. I am going to move all of those units that charge three inches closer to whatever they're closest to. And then when we come back, we'll be right into battle round three, Slaves of Darkness. All right, here we are for battle round three. We did not have to roll off because I used an ability that let me know that I was going. The pulses moved right here. <clears throat> In the last turn, I scored six points, so right now we're tied nine to nine. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and get into my turn. My battle tactic is going to be intimidate the invaders, and uh, my whole army's already out of my deploy, except for this chariot. Uh, we're gonna do some casting. We're gonna try for a Mystic Shield. Eight, I'll throw a Primal at that. I really like Mystic Shield. Okay, so 13. We'll try to unbind. Nope, you can have it. Okay. Then he'll just try to do an arcane bolt because he's not in range of fight last. It goes off on a six. You got it. Oh, uh, I'm going to suffer D3 mortal wounds and use this damned right here so I can get a plus one to hit until my next hero phase with Archeon. He's going to suffer two. 
and then he's going to shrug one. So he's taking one damage. All right, that is it for my hero phase. Let's go ahead and move. Okay, we finished my movement phase. I went ahead and just ran away from the Hexbane Hunters, and I made sure to leave two models on this objective so Michael can't just tow on to it in his turn. And then Archaon moved his 14. He's got a three-inch charge. Baron Guard, three-inch charge. Over the top, we've got this chariot from the back that's got two wounds left, just helping to hold the objective, the pulse. And then the Varen Guard, they just made a conservative move. I don't really want to fight on both sides of the castle this turn. And then these two chariots right here are just chilling in front of the command core. All right, the Ever Chosen gets an 11 inch charge. Mighty charge. Varen Guard, they get a nine. First chariot. It's a seven, we'll push him in. We'll do some mortals on fives into the command core. One mortal. A six. And then the other one's gonna charge in. That's a five. Let's reroll it. Okay, we'll go with a seven. Into the command core, two more mortals. All right, one Gargoyalian goes down. All right, Archaon is going to roar the unit of Cavaliers that's closest to the Griffin. They're roared. The Varen Guard are going to activate. They have plus one attacks for all of their stuff because they're corn and they charged. They're plus one to wound and plus one to rend because they charged with fell spheres. And then we're going to do an all out attack. I will try to stop that on four. All right, you get your all out attack. Oh, it depends. Twos and twos, here we go. Okay, you've got seven at round three. Fours. I failed them all, they're all dead. Okay. Activating the command core, we have four attacks with the great weapon. The great weapon, the dock, everybody else is going into this chariot. Just the banner is going to the chariot that's closest to the camera. These are going to be uh, threes and fours because I'm minus one to wound. So one at rend one. I failed it. D3 damage. Two damage. Okay. One attack with the enchanted rapier. Hits. Wounds. Rend three on the rapier. Go through. D6 damage for four. And then we have an assortment of weapons here. And these are on fives. One, sir, no rend. He's good. Neat. And then assortment of weapons into the other chariot. Nothing. Okay. David, I feel comfortable about just removing Haskell Hexbane if you wish. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight with him because Twos I and have, twos, run three. But I only have eight attacks because my leader is out of range. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it out. Okay, so you've got six saves, run three. We're a five up ward. Gotcha, okay. And Deadzo. One poor cavalier into Archeon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take two, minus one rend, single damage. Uh, you saved them all. Sure. Horses! Oh, oh, oh. Kick them in the face. Take one. Yes, see. Okay. Chariot. Uh, take two, minus one. We're good. Yep. <laughs> Nothing from the sergeant. Horses. This is great. Just kicking into the wind. Take one from a horse. Take a damage. <clears throat> Got him. All right, Michael. Archeon is going to fight with his Slayer of Kings and Monstrous Claws into the Cavaliers. And then he has three inch range with the Lashing Tails and Chimeric Heads. So he's going to put those into the Warforger. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with the Slayer of Kings. He gets plus one attack because he charged and he's corn. Twos and threes into the Cavaliers that are roared. Uh, four hits. And three wounds. 
minus two. Uh, save two. Okay, so that'll be three damage. And then the monstrous claws, two attacks, twos and threes. Uh, both hit, and then threes. One wound, minus two. Kill it. Uh, that's five damage. Good lord. Let's go with the chimeric heads. And plus one to hit because I use that damn terrain feature. Damn. Damn, damn terrain feature. Seven attacks because of corn. Everything hits. And then threes. Five wounds into the Warforger at minus one. All right, we need to do really good here. Sixes. He's dead. All right, Chariot on the outside is going to fight into the Cavaliers. This is fours and fours. Three saves, no round. Fill one. No, there's no round in your plus one. Oh, nope. Never mind. Sorry. Way to rub that in. Just keep saying I'm sorry for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay, Great Blade, uh, fours and threes. Okay, make a save at minus one. Saved it. Okay. <laughs> Yay. He's alive. And then, can we see the other chariot? Yep. Okay. Fours and fours with the other chariot into the command core. Two wins. Fill them both. Okay, single damage. Uh, sixes. Take a damage. Okay, and then this is fours and threes with the great blade. One wound minus one into the command core. Saved it. Uh, I'm just going to loose my arcane bolt and do a mortal wound to the command core. Okay, I take it. Okay. Well, that was fun. You want to score me up? Score you up? Yeah, uh, you got to take a bravery on those cavaliers because you can't auto pass bravery because of uh, Archeon. Sure, thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we're still good though. Okay, he's still alive. <laughs> that was productive, let's go score me up. All right, we are back from my turn, it was a banger. I got seven points. I hold the pulse, bolt adjacent, one objective, and then completed my battle tactic, which was intimidate the invaders. I'm being very intimidating right now. My battle tactic this turn is going to be intimidate the invaders. My only chance is to scream over top of these chariots and take, go fight these Vanguard, which is super scary because they can still fight twice. So we're just gonna try and uh, give ourselves the six up ward. Nope. Ionis is going to auto prey. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try and explode some mortals. We'll start with the first guy. He just takes D3 mortal wounds and dies. Okay, well, uh, I'm on mystical. Go for so, it. So, two. Okay, he's dead. And then on a three up, it will arc to the next guy. It does, and he takes two mortal wounds. Okay, can you roll his wound marker to three, good sir? Hero phase is complete. Let's move. Let's do it. Hexbane hunters are thinking about their life. They're hanging out over here. The command core have fallen out of combat, and they are uh, screening the Archeon and these Baron Guard. Excellent use for command core. Fell out of combat with these two Cavaliers. These Cavaliers are coming to my rescue. The Wild Archer Hunters have moved over to do a little shooting attacks. We were able to jump over since we killed that one chariot with both of our monsters. We're gonna see if we can bait up on some Baron Guard. He tried to roll a redeploy, but the command core stopped it and kept them where I want them. They said nay nay. So we have a little bit of shooting attacks to do. We'll do that right now. Wilder core hunters firing in to the Varen Guard. Fours and fours. Five at minus one rent. Okay, I take two damage. And then the hunting, the, the heavy bow. Two hits. Oh no, wounds. All out attack with Ionis. He's gonna fire all of his shots into the Varen Guard. Okay, we'll do an all out defense. Twos and threes. Take five, minus two rent. This is going to be fours. Hey, three more. That is a Varen Guard. Ionis charging in. A big 10, which is what we needed. The Griffin is gonna pop the command 
engaged the foe to give himself plus one attack. Yes. And now he's going to charge into the Varengard. That is a 10, because we are plus one. Cavaliers are looking at a charge. Oh, a three. Let's re-roll for these Cavaliers. OK. There we go. Now we get a nine. Now we're in. Oh, you're just stop over there. OK. Oh, it, <laughs> oh, it all fell it. apart. It didn't work anyway. OK, uh, Archeon is within six inches of the command core. He has a monstrous action called Filth Spewer that's a six inch range. So uh, I roll a number of dice equal the models in the unit to a max of seven, and each three up is mortal wounds. So this is going to be five dice, mortals on threes. That's a lot. Uh, five mortal wounds. Oh, goodness. We're going to all on attack with our griffin. Uh huh. We have five attacks with the lance. Okay, or we'll, take, we'll, we'll wound you once. We're in three. Okay, uh, so we're looking for sixes here. Nope. Four damage. Okay, one guy's almost dead. Six attacks with the razor claws. And take five at Ren one. I saved them all. Excellent. Going great. Everything's good. Uh, two deadly beaks. Take two at Ren two. I uh, save one, fail one. Four damage. This is going to be six attacks, fours and fours with the chariot and to the cavaliers. One wound. Saved it. Okay, and then fours and threes with the great blade. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Ionis, four attacks with Soul Breaker. Two, minus one rent. Damage? Two damage piece. Okay. Dead. Dead, so. All right, into the griffin. I can only wound on fours because of Grizzled Veteran. So we're first going to fight with the Tearing Fangs. This is going to be three attacks, fours and fours. Make a save. Saved it. OK, and then let's do the Fell Spear. This is four attacks, fours and fours. Yes, fours and fours. OK. Make two saves at minus two. Fill them both. Okay, that's four damage. Cavaliers trying to beat up on this Nurgle chariot. Threes. Six at minus two. Yahtzee, dead. From the mount, three attacks, fours and fours. Nope, and then the spear. Okay. Threes and fours, so fours make two saves at negative two. Take four more damage. All right. I figured I used that ability, because if you double me, he's going to die. So well, you did way more damage to me than I did to you. Yeah. Michael, done with your turn. How many points? Six. Uh, we hold the pulse, adjacent to the pulse, and a point. So that's six points, which means I'm only down by one. Yeah, so the score is 15 to 16, and we're getting into the roll-off for Battle Round 4. It's been a really fun game so far. So far, so good. Uh, let's see if we can pull it out, though. Okay. Huh. Okay. I will take the turn, sir. All right, so we will be back for Battle Round 4, Cities of Sigmar. We did it. We got the roll-off. We're still alive. Yeah, get back some horsies. Please, a horse. One horse. Yay. That's value country. Battle tactic this turn is led into the maelstrom. Got charged with a battle line and a, a hero. Yep. My general, I gave him heal. So mm -hmm. he's going to try and heal himself. OK. It goes off. OK. For two. I'm going to pray two times. OK. So it's not an auto prayer. And neither of these are, they're both hard prayers to do. I'm going to try and turn off this Varengard's ward mm -hmm. with Moria's Embrace. Four. Yes. Okay. No word for him. Okay. And then we're going to try and zap him with mortal wounds on a three. Okay. He does. Okay. He takes d3. For three. 
Okay, you got him. <gasps> Nicely done. Cool. Very cool. Now we start moving. Let's do it. Not counting out the Hexbane Hunters, they have moved up to go fight these Nurgle Knights. Ionis also has moved up. They threw a redeploy. I tried to stop it with the Command Core and failed, so you rolled a four, looking at a seven inch charge there. These Union of Cavaliers are going to try and go fight Varengard. We're not afraid, not afraid at all. Command Core are retreating because they're smart. And then we've created a screen, a screen. And then my general is going to stand back and try and heal himself for a little bit. This is all of our movement. We do have a wee bit of shooting. Hexbane hunters have three shots with their little pistol. Hitting on threes. All right, shell, all out defense. Wound on threes. Take two at minus one. Okay, we're good. Nice. Ionis shooting some flames. Scouring some spirits. That's what he's doing. Take four at run two. Okay, fours. Takes two. Takes two, and they are soul burned. Charging. That's an eight. Hexbane Hunters charging in. For sure. Cavaliers going in. Six. Six should do it. Monstrous actions? Uh, yeah, I'll do filth spewer. So uh, five dice mortals on threes. Uh, five mortal wounds. Ionis. Gonna try and stomp you, or roar you. Roared. Okay. Four attacks with Soul Breaker. Probably should have all on attack here. Um, one, rend one. We're good. Cool. Ancient Claws, five Ancient Claws. Threes. And threes with the Ancient Claws. So one at rend two. Fail. Two damage. And then we have two of the time-worn fangs. They both fail. Those were run three, three damage, but they both failed. <laughs> OK. Uh, I will fight with my knights. Yes. All right, all the lances are going into Hexbane's hunters. And then we have one set of hooves going into uh, Ionis. So the hooves into Ionis. Uh, run two on the, the lances. One. Red one. one. All out defense, the Hexbane Hunters. OK, so this is into Ionis. One hit, no wounds. This is going to be fours and threes. OK, make three saves at minus one. Huh. Saved one. OK, there's single damage. Fives. OK, so the woodsman is on one wound remaining. Can the horses take him down? We're about to find out. Fours and fours. Make three saves. OK, fours. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dead zone. They can. They got him. <laughs> to the wound. I choose not to pilot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Combat phase complete. Let's score it up. All right, we are here. Michael, how many points? Seven. Yep, you got that big seven. So you're up to 22. The score is 22 to 16. I don't think I'm going to have the best scoring turn right now, but I'm going to do everything that I can. So let's go ahead and get into some casting. Before you do, I'm going to spend my only CP to rally the command core. OK. Nothing. Excellent use of a CP. I wanted my Spy Master back. <laughs> OK, all right. All right, let's cast. We're just going to do a Mystic Shield on the big boy. Mm -hmm. uh, that goes off with a 5. Uh, let's just do an Arcane Bolt. Uh, that goes off with a 12. Ooh. Um, I, I have no other stuff to do. I've got like five models on the board. So we'll move, and then we'll show you what I did. Movement phase is complete. I fell back with these knights, and then I moved the Varen Guard with an auto run up here. They're going to have to charge into Ionis so I can get my battle tactic. And then over here, we've got Archeon. He moved his 14, and he's just going to charge into some command core and do some dam. So that is it. Let's go ahead and do our charges. All right, on the off chance that I screw up this charge, I'm going to roll them first. Uh, they get a 10, so they'll go in. Archeon. OK. OK. <laughs> Reroll. OK, six is good. 
OK, my monstrous action with Archeon is going to be a 3 plus Phil Spewer on four dice. Cool. OK, take three mortal wounds. Ionis is going to stomp you. Get stomped. Take a mortal wound. We're good. Dang it. Baron Guard are going to fight. Fell Spears are going to go into Ionis. This is going to be threes and twos. Make 10 saves at negative three rand. What are these, five ups? Yeah. 15, 16, he's dead. Oh, good job, Baron Guard. Surprise, that might make uh, you fail your battle tactic. Yes, that very well may. Oh, you moved in. Oh, I was going to do only my three inch attacks. That's definitely going to make me fail my battle tactic, dude. Four it's attacks with the Sigmarite Great Weapon, threes and threes in Archeon. Take one at Rend One. He takes it. Okay, P3, it's three damage. He takes them. Cool. An assortment of weapons from the remaining two idiots. Nothing. Can I fail my battle tactic now, Michael? You may, sir. Roll okay. for your failed battle tactic. Uh, hot tip for you guys, don't try to do lead into the maelstrom with Baron Guard and Archeon because there won't be anything left to be in combat with. I didn't, I didn't actually think Baron Guard was going to I did not think them. they were going to do 16 damage. I was like, I only have one activation, I'm fine, and then they just straight up did it. Straight through Finest Hour and everything. Yep. It was ridiculous. Doesn't matter. We're going to do Slayer of Kings. This is five attacks, twos and threes. Okay. Uh, two at negative two. Sixes. Fell them both. Six damage. Twos and threes to monstrous claws. One at minus two. Fell it. Five damage. No! <laughs> I gamed you, bro. <laughs> you did. You gamed me. All right, well. Let's score you up and roll it off. Let's go score me up. All right, we're back for my turn. Shocking turn of events. I, I clapped Ionis on accident. I, didn't, I did not want to do that. I wanted to stay in combat with him. But it happened. So I failed my battle tactic. I do still score four points because I hold one, the pulse, one adjacent to the pulse. So that brings my score to 20. So the score is 20 to 22. We're getting the roll off. I did pop my arcane bolt in the battle shock phase and kill one more cavalier, in case you were wondering. And that's it, man. Michael's up by two points. I think I just burned myself out of this game by killing Ionis, dude. But we're going to see what happens in battle round five. Ready? Good yeah. luck. Hook. Oh, that was a five. We, are we keeping that flat five? <laughs> or am I re-rolling the flat five? I'd re-roll it. You should re-roll it. Right, they re didn't it. see. OK. Um, well, now I feel bad you because should. I break ties. <laughs> no, you break ties. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We'll be back for battle round five cities. cities. We're here for the wrap up. When that one went the distance, everybody, and we did it 28 to 28, we tied it. We did tie it. However, I killed Ionis on accident. <laughs> yeah. I. I belly ached about it for the rest of the game. Not in a bad way, just like I was shocked that three Baron Guard with their fell spears did 16 damage. Yep. And, and he just died. I was like really sad. So I dropped the battle tactic. So Michael does get a minor victory. Minor victory. Because he completed all of his battle tactics. Ever so barely. Ever so barely, yes. Uh, I was greedy and I wanted to try to slay the griffin right. in battle round five, and I did not slay the griffin, and then I left one cavalier alive, so he was able to get his battle tactic. If I had not been a dummy and just put all of my attacks into the cavalier, then it would be a pure draw. No, you'd win it because you maintained your grand, and I did not. Oh, and you would have failed your battle tactic. Yeah. Yeah. And not gotten that point. It's a snowball yeah. effect. So I, I wanted to, I wanted to kill Carl Franz. Yeah. Um, but yes, that was a very, very fun game. Uh, Michael, I gotta commend you for how you turned it around, how you continued to focus on scoring after that just devastation oh, so of bad. battle round three. 
uh, lifting the Warforger, two units of Cavaliers, Hestel, Haxbane, just so much damage happened in battle round two and three. Yeah. Uh, and you just played the points and you were smart with your screens and you just did a phenomenal job. So well done. That was a very, very well earned minor victory. Let's talk about the Cities of Sigmar first and then I'll give you some hot takes on my Slay's Charms. Cities of Sigmar, the Command Corps was fun, but their deny only came up like once. It was a big deny when they did it. Yeah. Um, I did use them aggressively this game, try to use them as screens so I could get some healing off, and that just never quite uh, helped me out. Mm -hmm. I loved the Wilder cores. That, they were really cool. Ionis in Lethus is theoretically good, Yeah. but I never did the spell to turn off your wards, or the prayer to turn off your wards, so it never came up. Yeah. And MVP has got to be the Griffin. Because yeah, the Griffin jumped my line, got into the Varen Guard, um, even with me forgetting some of his attacks that I had given him, um, still did a good job, stole me a point, yes. um, messed up the Varen Guard. LVP for me has got to be the, the Warforger. I thought he was very safe. He was behind two levels of screens. Yes. And you, you just two layers of Cavaliers. Yes. And you just went right through them. <laughs> yes, yeah. So I did Phil Stewart. I charged with the Baron Guard, double activated with the Baron Guard to get them out of the way. So they, they double activated into uh, Haskell Hexbane, who yeah. was literally like two inches and 15 sixteenths yeah. away from the Baron Guard. So I was just barely able to do it. I got them out of the way so I could get hit <clears throat> his big pie plate face up there. And then I had to rotate around the Cavaliers that you piled in to try to block me. And then I only had half of my attacks to kill the Warforger because they're three inch range. So he should have been safe, but I got really, really lucky. So Haskell also might be an LVP because he showed up with his henchmen and was like, all right, boys, go get him. And then he just dipped. Like yeah. he just sprinted to the backfield and just <laughs> didn't didn't play the game for the rest of the game. Yeah, and then he just and then he just died. Um, I almost think you should give Ionis uh, L, uh, MVP because he cost you a battle tactic. Because he cost me a battle tactic in the game by dying. So yeah. he like died so well. It's like in Dune when Duncan Idaho hangs back to stop the forces, the Harkonnens from killing yep. uh, from killing the main character. Yeah. Oh, it was good, but he did great because he came over the screen and then chased down and got me the pulse when I didn't think I was getting the pulse. Yeah, because that stupid chariot gave you something to charge and pile into. Yeah, so that was a very good play. Your the moves that you made in battle round three really really helped you to win that game. Like a lot of people on the back foot, especially in competitive play, after a turn like that, are going to be kind of rattled and not like focus on getting as many points, and you did. You still got six points that turn, and you like hopped over my army, and then I was over here, and you were over there. Like it was, it was a gamble, because I was playing for the devil at that point. Yes. But if you've already lost, then just go. And you totally got the double, too. <laughs> it just worked so out. Like, yeah, it worked out. Uh, I felt like I was in a very strong position after battle round three. But yeah, so well done for the Cities of Sigmar. It was so fun to bring out the chariot list today. Uh, five chariots is so funny because I did a funny amount of mortal wounds. You did. Them, rolling like 11 and 12 inch charges, which was like, that was great. Because that's like how you think of a meme list. Yes. You're like, I'm going to do it. This thing's going to happen. And it usually doesn't. But I, I think I did probably 12 or 14 mortal wounds with those chariots yep. before they died. And they helped me get a couple battle tactics. So surround and destroy, charge three. They were great. I really like this list. Um, I gotta talk about these Baron Guard right here, this unit. They are LVP because they cost me the game by killing Ionis. But it's so funny to think about their little journey, okay? Yes. These were the ones that, that were here. Yep. And then they were there. And then at the end of the game, they were there on the other side of the battlefield. So they're so fast. Their movement is insane. And like being able to double activate, use pylons, all that kind of stuff. When I completed a charge and the thing died, 
before I could activate anything, and I was able to just move all of my units in a charge another three inches closer and then run a charge. It was amazing. So I love the mobility of this army. The Corn Baron Guard are super strong. You just have to keep them safe, right? This other unit I did not keep safe, uh, so they died before they could do a whole lot. But the Pink Baron Guard did quite a bit of damage, even though he had charged. He did like eight wounds. Yep. Um, so had Michael not won the roll off once again, I would have been in a strong position to really uh, threaten his general. Uh, Archeon is MVP. He did every single thing. He made you fail battle shock. He killed tons of stuff. He just is an amazing model. Like I think his rules, it's one of the most interesting and fun war scrolls in the game, especially for God models. He just does a little bit of everything. And uh, he's a really good independent operator, but also really good at just helping to buff your army. So he's gonna get MVP. And the, just everything did their job. It was great. Uh, this, I was talking to Michael about this. This is a list that I could easily take to a tournament and feel comfortable with fielding. I know exactly how to score with this army and it has tons of damage output. So. It's really cool. What's, what I love is this is probably the last game that we filmed for third edition. Yes. And we brought it to a tie. Yes. That's awesome. It was epic. And it was, you know, chaos versus order. Yep. And uh, we did some pretty thematic things, like making 11-inch charges and trying to slay each other's warlords. And it was great. It was really, really fun. So we really hope that you guys all enjoyed it. We are very, very excited for the new edition. And we are going to show everything off. Uh, I think that's about it. Man. That's it for us. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week for another Battle Report.